after learning the endogenic and exogenic processes in the previous lesson, do you know the consequences of the endogenic process? The consequences of the endogenic process are occurrence of geohazards such as earthquakes, landslide, tsunami and volcanism. Let's learn one by one. A volcano is a vent in the earth crust that allows the hot liquid of magma to rise through it in the form of a strong eruption. Volcanoes are formed from magma which is a molten rock that exists at a very high temperature and pressure beneath the earth crust. Volcanoes erupt when the pressure in the mantle is high enough to force the magma out through the vent in the earth crust onto the surface of the earth. Volcano eruptions can pollute the air with gas and dust, pollute the water and harmful to life and destroy properties. An earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the earth as a result of the sudden movement of the tectonic plates of the earth crust. The damages of earthquake includes landslides, liquefactions, and tsunamis. Earthquakes change the physical conditions of earth and destroy the habitat. It destroys the plants and animals living in natural habitats. A tsunami is a large wave in the ocean caused by tectonic movement under the sea. Tsunami can be caused by volcanic eruption, underwater landslide, earthquakes, or due to the impact of meteor or comet hitting the surface of the sea. Tsunami can cause great destruction of property and loss of life when it reaches land. The Earth's atmosphere has always acted like a greenhouse to capture the sun's heat. Without our atmospheric greenhouse, the Earth would be very cold. Today, the problem is not that too little sun warmth is reaching the Earth, but that too much is being trapped in our atmosphere. When too much of carbon dioxide is released to the atmosphere, it will form a thick layer on the atmosphere and will trap the heat from the sun. And so much heat is being kept inside greenhouse earth that the temperature of the earth is going up faster than any previous time in history. Global warming is the slow increase in the average temperature of the earth's atmosphere because an increased amount of heat striking the earth from the sun is being trapped in the atmosphere and not radiated out into the space. The increase in the average global temperature has caused a dangerous global warming process that is threatening our current environment. The melting of the Arctic and the Antarctic ice caps is due to an increase in global temperature. This causes sea levels to increase resulting in the flooding of lowland areas. Temperature changes also bring about climate changes that might cause natural disasters. Natural disasters like droughts, hurricanes, tornadoes and heat waves are due to global warming. Apart from the natural disasters, other consequences include poor crop production and famine. Acid rain is the rainwater that is mixed with various air pollutants such as sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen. Sulfur dioxide and oxides of nitrogen released from the industrial area and the vehicles will react with the water vapour in the air to form acids, namely sulfuric acid and nitric acid. This Acids are soluble in rainwater and fall to the earth in the form of acid rain. 
Acid rain corrodes concrete and limestone buildings. Acid rain also speeds up iron rusting. A landslide is the sliding down of rocks and soils in a large amount down a slope. Landslides usually occur on the steep slopes that are exposed to erosion, weathering and rainwater. A landslide is caused by the gravitational force that acts on a steep slope. When the gravitational force exceeds the forces that hold the soil together, the soil moves downhill. Landslides could bury houses, roads and properties. Quicksand is an unstable layer of sand where the sand forms a suspension with the trapped water inside it. Quicksand occurs when underground water flows upwards and saturates an area of loose sand that the sand loses its strength. Quicksand usually occurs near lakes, wetlands or near the coast. When a victim steps into a quicksand, only his feet would sink, but panic body movement will cause the person to sink deeper. Sinkhole is the hole extending from the surface of earth to a cavity underground that is generally formed by water seepage through the rocks. Most sinkholes take years to develop and are usually formed in regions underlain by limestone, droughts, heavy rain and human activities such as excessive underwater pumping and mining activities have led to an increase in sinkholes. Sinkholes formed in residential areas can cause damages to properties and infrastructures such as houses, roads, buildings and also the loss of human life. Geohazards can happen at any place and at any time. Every year, geohazards cause enormous death, injuries and damages to properties in many countries. Therefore, science and technology play an increasingly important role in managing geohazards. Next, let's look at this early warning system for landslide prediction. This is a type of sound sensor system that has been developed to predict the likelihood of a landslide. It is placed on the slope of hills. It works by measuring and analysing the sound behaviour of soil to establish when a landslide is imminent so that the preventative action can be taken. The device to detect tsunami is placed at the shoreline to give early warning via satellite. When an earthquake strikes on the bed of the ocean, millions of tons of water are suddenly pushed upwards or sinks dramatically downwards, thus generating a powerful wave. In deep water, the wave travels at extremely high rates of speed. The wave can be identified by a tsunami detector, which then transmits a warning via satellite. With the help of data received from transmitter buoys and prediction models, it is possible even just 15 minutes after an earthquake strikes to determine the path and the strength of a tsunami. Warnings can be sent out to the endangered regions immediately. Seismometers are used to measure the movement of Earth, including the seismic waves generated by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and other seismic sources. Low hazards are naturally occurring phenomena that cannot be totally prevented, but their impact on people and environment may be mitigated. Geo hazards can cause loss of human life destruction and damages to properties and environment. Therefore, we should sympathize and help the victims and survivors of geohazards. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.